Elena Busiakos has been found dead on a cold February night in a Woodenville, Washington parking lot. It was pretty traumatic, I mean, for all of us, you know, and especially being found in the trunk of your car, it's hard to digest. I was heartbroken. I mean, I was genuinely heartbroken. The possibility that the killer's motive was robbery is looking less and less likely. Somebody that had robbed her, that had taken her credit cards and her money, probably would have used them. And there is still no sign of Elena's missing engagement ring. Someone would try to get rid of it in some fashion, likely try to pawn it would be a logical place to look, and there was nothing like that. So who had taken her life and why? Detective Peters can't help but return to images of the crime scene, convinced they're the key to the killer's identity. We looked inside her suitcase, and there was a pair of running tennis shoes, which seemed odd to me because, you know, she is found wearing tennis shoes, and she was only going to be gone for a couple of days. Usually, you pack smart and only bring one pair of tennis shoes. Elena also had two pairs of boots, two hair dryers, and too much luggage for a weekend away. The first thing that was found was her suitcase, which she had packed for the trip. It had been neatly packed. The items were folded. And then there was also a bag in her car where makeup items were thrown. So that seemed a little out of place for the type of girl Elena was. The items in the bag were things that no woman would ever bring on a trip with them. There was a big, tall bottle of suave hand lotion when she had a perfumed lotion in her suitcase. That's what she meant to take with her. There was a hair gel bottle with no lid on it. Nobody would take these toiletry items. So who had packed Elena's luggage? The killer clearly had access to her belongings. Detectives look more closely at Elena's fiance, Sione Louie. We found out that the relationship wasn't what Sione Louie was presenting to us. He had said, you know, they were going to be married and they're in love and they have a great relationship. And in fact, Elena's people were telling us, no, she was ending the relationship. I said, are you still wearing the ring? And she said, well, yeah, I'm still wearing the ring, but I'm not planning the wedding. She was scared of marrying him because she couldn't trust him. With good reason. He was married when he met her, and she didn't know it. She had found, at some point, a wedding picture of Sione and his past wife, and they weren't divorced yet. She had no idea he was married. None. Zero zilch. That was the first sign of this wasn't maybe the most honest man in the world. The first sign, but not the last. Sione hit on other women while he and Elena were together even Elena's friends. During the dinner at the Christmas party, I was sitting next to him, and he put his hand on my lap. I was with my date, and he was with Elena. We had all gone out one night, and he grabs me, and he tries to kiss me. I was like, this is so completely awkward and weird. Jacqueline tells Elena what happened. She was so sad, obviously. But I think she wasn't that completely shocked. I think she was starting to figure out who, who this person was. But only days before Elena's death, she made an even worse discovery. Sione was in a relationship during that time period with another lady. There were a lot of things that she didn't know about what he was doing, that he was sort of living a double life with regard to other women. She'd finally, the day before she had passed away, gotten together with the woman he was having an affair with. They had discussed you know, what type of person Sione was. This woman was going to call Sione on his cell phone. And when Sione answered and started speaking with her, Elena then got on the phone and said, basically, you know, you're lying to me. And basically, she busted him out. Elena told the woman she had come to a decision. Either he was going to be moving out, or I'm going to be moving out. She realized that she couldn't do this any longer. We find out that she had closed out her account with Sione, which was a joint account, uh, on Friday, the day before she was to fly to California. But even if Elena had called off the wedding, would Sione have retaliated with murder? In their effort to find out, detectives call in the hounds. It was a shot in the dark, but what the heck. Mm -hmm.